Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to go over uh, this newly discovered operating system. It's not a Linux, but it's a BSD Berkeley software distribution. Uh, kind of like, like a Linux, but it's very unlike Linux, but similar command uh, set of commands that you can find in a terminal. But um, let me just go over this very quickly. If you want to know about trading free books, just go here, quantlabs.net. If you want to learn about algo trading, just go to quantlabs.net slash DVD. So in this post over at Does This Nomad BSD Have Potential? I think it does. It's gotten pretty good reviews all around. Um, here's a couple of videos on the highlight of it, how to install it, how to use a thumbnail drive. You can have the uh, operating system live on the thumbnail and uh, only the thumbnail and you could transfer that around from computer to computer. So it's a self-contained um, operating system environment. That's pretty cool. Some other items here as well. So what I'm going to show you is how to install it A on VirtualBox. And the other thing is uh, to do some just basic installation of uh, Python and potentially a good text editor like I use called Sublime. So let's get started. I'm going to assume you go through this, show you how to somewhat set it up. I'm going to be using VirtualBox. So first thing is first, uh, if you go over to the Nomad uh, BSD website.org, what you can do is depending upon where you're uh, running the, uh, the thumbnail from or what your operating system is, uh, obviously you got different options here, including in my case, Mac OS. So when you download the, um, file for the operating system, what you'll notice is that, uh, it's considered a persistent system. They do not provide ISO files. And as a result, um, they're using a, a format called LZM, LZMA. So here's all the different uh, options available. Uh, when you download, you'll get an LZMA up here. Again, it will show you the instructions on how to um, uncompress that file and then run it or install it on a uh, thumbnail or a jump drive. Uh, you could also use um, Etcher as well. So in our case, what we can do here is we get our LZM LZMA file, and uh, if you go into my blog post, there is a way to get it working on VirtualBox. So what you gotta do is you gotta go into the handbook, uh, which is right uh, right here, handbook, and in there, um, just do a search for VirtualBox, and it'll show you how to actually uh, do it. So what you gotta do is you gotta download and extract that um, LZMA file, and then in there, uh, you'll be running and looking for once it's uncompressed the IMG file and then from there depending upon uh, how you set up your virtual box and the environment to get it running um, you'll want to run this command on your uh, terminal or in your terminal and uh, point to where you want to create this file called the VMDK and the file that you're referencing to, which is the IMG file once uncompressed. From there, you start VirtualBox, and then as it explains here, you want to use the option when you set up the, uh, the virtual machine to use an existing virtual hard disk, and that will mean you will choose the um, created VMDK file that you do running this uh, VBox manage command. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, and then you can configure all the usual um, virtual machine settings that you want. One thing I will highlight, I made a big mistake of uh, only making available uh, 4 gig on my drive. You need a lot more depending upon what you're planning to install into the OS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this up. Um, it's pretty fast. And uh, it's fairly uh, light, meaning it doesn't take up a lot of memory as a modern-day um, operating system. And again, it's BSD, 
Um, as you know, I, uh, it's built off of FreeBSD, which has some security problems, but you can easily find a, a page or a document um, indicating how to uh, harden the operating system environment with not OpenBSD, which I prefer, but um, FreeBSD should be fine if you know how to harden uh, Linux or um, BSD environments. So I just wait for this thing to load up. So on the get-go, when you uh, reference the VMDK, when you create this uh, virtual machine, um, you'll notice that whatever you download for already is a self-contained um, self operating system, essentially. So out of the gate, you'll get Firefox, uh, an email program, some other open source uh, options, and you can choose when you install and configure which um, editor you want and what kind of uh, other programs you want. You get a Pac-Man, you got a GIMP, um, you got a, a, an editor. And uh, what we namely want to focus on, oh, and as you, if you, when you right click, uh, also you get some other um, out of the box VLC player, um, Odyssey, 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 I can never say that, and other ones as well. But one of the things that you will not get is um, your Python. So I'm going to show you the commands to do that. So when you go into your terminal, what will happen is uh, I put them in my um, in my uh, instructions here in the post in this blog post uh, right here. So what you can do is you're going to use this package manager called just pkg and then install and then the name of the uh, repository that you want to install. Of course, one of them will be Python. So when you go in, you just do a sudo to get root access, pkg, and then install, and then the name of the um, the name of the uh, repository. In this case, Python. That should install. Okay. And then the next thing you want to install, if you want to follow the path that I'm going down, is to obviously install your. Um, your package, or sorry, your pip as well for package management in Python. And you need to make sure you install the correct appropriate version from the whatever version you're, you're installing. So let's say in here I have uh, running Python 3.7. So in here you can see when I do the pip, do a package install pi 3.7, which is the Python version minus pips, so let's say it's 3.8, I guess you would do pi 3.8 or pi 3.6 or whatever version it is, minus the pip to install the pip manager. From there, all you gotta do is just do a simple um, pip install. Uh, depends how you do it, but uh, so if you do uh, sudo pip3, install whatever your Python package would be if it's NumPy or or whatever other one you want like pandas or whatnot so you can do that lastly um, I have not been able to install this properly because it takes uh, more memory than I have available because I only made available uh, 4 gig but this does seem to work this uh, command but you remember always if you have um, uh, privilege problems uh, because you're running as a regular user you need to do the main uh, root access so you just run the sudo you may need to run sudo package and sudo package for this one as well to get these to install properly so um, in this case you just do a uh, pkg install and then the linux minus sublime 3 for the latest version of sublime and it should install but that's pretty well it. it's a pretty good um, overview of uh, setting up uh, Python. Um, as I said, if you want to learn more of the high-level stuff, I've probably watched these videos again. And this is at my blog, Does This Nomad BSD Have Potential? So uh, this video is specific for just installing on VirtualBox as well as uh, getting Python installed as well as a really good editor like Sublime. That's pretty well it.
thanks for watching and uh, have yourselves a good day.